top of the food chain, rock with the rat tail, king sanitation, jump into the trap now, murderous assassins, harassment of blackmail, how you think I made it in the game? It's a Yo guys, what is going on? Timpus here, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make your text look a lot better for your YouTube banners, thumbnails, headers, all that type of stuff, and just a few easy simple steps. Now before we get started, can we hit 120 likes on this video guys, that would really mean a lot. And with that all being said, let's get into the video. So guys, what we're going to be doing, like I said, is making text fit the banner or header or thumbnail a lot more. So for this, um, for the text, I'm just going to put gaming. Um, now I've already done this banner, I did it in one of my streams. I'm just going to be going over it, so... Um, gaming I'll be using and the font I'll be using is Agency FB in bold and uh, this font looks really cool um, spacing will be zero maybe a bit more actually something like something like that now since it's a greenish style um, thumb, uh, header I'm gonna make the text green so I'm just gonna put it around here something like this um, and then, like I said, make it green, so we'll make it green. And we'll make it the same colour as this over here, so... Maybe a bit darker, something like that, that's cool. So, to make the text look better, we're going to add some, um, like, layer styles. So the first thing we're going to do is add a gradient overlay. Change that to overlay and make, bring down the opacity around 40%. Uh, add an inner glow. Bring down the size a bit because the text is quite small, so we don't want it too big. Change its overlay, and you can bring it down if you want. It's up to you. Um, now that is actually probably it for that. Um, but the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is actually add some textures to it. Now you can either go on Google and find some grunge textures, or if you have got my pack or you want to download it, you can go get that and this has got some grunge textures in it as well so I'll probably just use this one right here anyone will do now this is white at the moment, I want to make it black so press ctrl U and bring down the da uh, make it darker um, and then you want to rasterize the text and then create a clipping mask of the grunge onto the text then we can make it smaller and it gives it a really nice texture to it uh, it makes it look really cool just a little effect and you can move it around as well into whatever place you want now I'm gonna leave it like that so the next thing I'm gonna do guys is um, I've, this is a really cool thing you can do it with any text any gaming type of text um, and what you want to do is press control um, in fact just press I and hold it down then click on the text to get the same color and then what we're gonna do is at the bottom we are going to add a rectangle going down um, so it looks like part of it is longer than, than the other parts um, in fact guys I, did, I think I did it the wrong way around uh, before you add the grunge so we'll just remove the grunge you want to add the rectangle to make it longer like so so nothing too big around that size looks cool so we've got that going on and you can also do it in other places you can either just do it in one place or you can do it in other places so maybe over here would look good and then you can rasterize it then group everything together like so and then you've got that and then you can add the grunge and then make it darker control u dark and then create clipping mask and you've got that, that looks really cool and you can bring down the opacity if you want then group it together and then the final thing you want to do to this text is rub away a bit of the bottom part so it's like it's faded and that looks really cool nice and now the next thing you guys will want to do is add a new layer go to the brush tool and then in certain places, I'm just going to do two, you just want to press once and then press once again and then you can change that to color dodge and then bring down the opacity so it looks like it's glowing, around 25% looks good 25% nice and you can also add other effects, you can add sparks, you can add flares and stuff like that, that to the text now in my pack I've also got some sparks and there's loads of different ones you can choose from. I think I'm just going to go with this. 
and as you can see it is orange so to change the colour just press Ctrl U and move it along so that looks cool and I don't know if this will look any good but I'm going to make it smaller and put it behind the text or you can create a clipping mask and put it over the top of the text it's up to you guys so that looks okay you could change it to colour dodge that looks alright and then maybe rub away certain parts if you bring down that opacity of the rubber so it looks okay it looks pretty nice and also what I like to do is in front of everything right at the top go to the green and then over the top of that and then colour dodge and bring down the opacity and then finally add a new layer and make it white and then you can do this wherever you want but I'm just going to do it in random places like so and then change that to overlay bring down the opacity and boom so it's, it fits the, the banner it looks cool uh, gaming font but yeah that's about it for the video guys um, I'm just going to show you guys an extra thing so um, I was going to do this in another video but since we're talking about text and I'm doing a tutorial on how to make the text look better I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool layer style so what you guys want to do is go to window adjustments and uh, yeah windows adjustments and then you can drag it over here you get a box you can drag it over here and then styles pops up and these are all different uh, text styles and um, so what you guys will want to do I'll show you an example so so say if you wanted to add some um, effects to this text you can go to gradient overlay uh, maybe bring down the opacity in a glow change that to overlay and stuff like that so you've got some cool layer styles and if you want to save this um, so you can use it again all you've got to do is click new style and then change it to whatever you want so I'll just put grey um, and then press ok and then when you scroll down it will pop up and you've got it right there so whenever you make a new text like so um, I'll just put um, tempers and then all you've got to do is just click on it and you've changed it to that layer style so that looks really cool and it's just a quick tip and it saves a lot of time as you can see I've got some other ones, I've got red, purple cool ones they look nice so that's about it for this, this tutorial guys um, I hope you guys did enjoy smash the like button if you did also subscribe comment down below what you want to see in my next video and other than that guys I hope you guys have been a sick day today and yeah I'll see you guys later. Boy, you wanna know my name to go and tell us you wanna know my game suicide